outside in the garden today because I am doing a summer beach bag getaway video and I wanted to come outside because whenever I talk about holidays I hate being stuck inside and thinking of the sunshine. Now it's not actually sunny today but it's warm enough to be outside and in true Brit fashion I am in the garden. Now if you see some random rain falling it's because it has just been raining and the tree above me is covered in water so I am getting a little bit wet sat where I am but I want to do it outside for you guys. Now this is a collab video with Katie's Bliss. She is so nice. I got to meet her when I was in New York. I will link her video at the end of this so make sure you check out her channel and also the video that she's done as well. She is super stylish and I get kind of style envy every time I watch her videos because she does the most amazing kind of style videos, puts together all these outfits and I know you guys are going to love her channel so make sure that you check her out. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the accessories. The first thing that I would take with me of course is my beach hat and this is from Claire's Accessories. It's so so cute. It actually came with a kind of black and white polka dot bow. I took it off, I don't know why. I kind of regret doing that but at the time I just wanted it to be really classy and just black but it's really good. It keeps the sun off my face. I get heat stroke as well so it's super important for me to take a hat with me. Then my beach kind of wear. Over my bikini I'm not that confident in kind of just strolling around the beach in my bikini so I like to have something over the top and I picked this up from New Look and it's a kind of chiffron white kind of not a wrap it goes you wear it like a little dress it's quite see-through but not see-through enough so it gives you enough kind of coverage but it's still nice and light so it doesn't feel too hot when you're on the beach and it has a little tie around the waist as well so it's really really flattering then this is my favorite thing my flip-flops I picked these up from New Look as well I just fell in love with these, the multicolored kind of bits on it, the little charms, you've got kind of little balls and crosses. I just absolutely thought these were gorgeous. And New Look is really, really reasonable. I trash flip flops when I go to the beach, so I know I'm probably gonna wear these for a season. There's no point in me getting something that's really, really expensive, but these are really, really comfy as well. They didn't give me any blisters when I went on holiday. Next up, I have some t-shirts because it's all about the t-shirts and shorts when you go on holiday, and I have always got these in my beach bag. The first t-shirt is from Topshop and it's this cute black and white stripy top. It's really really long as well so I like that because I hate t-shirts that are really short and they ride up and they kind of don't cover your tummy or the back. So these are really nice because they kind of fit halfway down your shorts and Topshop do some great t-shirts for going away. I always go in there and they've got some kind of tank tops, all different types of colours. The next t-shirt I'm going to tell you guys about isn't really mainstream so you probably won't have seen it in the shops. I'm always on the lookout for brands and makeup that's pretty new and kind of up and coming and still pretty cheap that I can tell you guys about. So this one is called Beach, it's a range of t-shirts and they are so so cute. You can buy them in all different colours, grey, pink, purple and what I loved about this was a little heart on the front. It's so different to kind of anything that I've seen. It's comfy to wear, I just want to wear t-shirts when I'm on the beach. I just feel so comfortable in them and this one was just so so cute. So I, I'm going to put all the links to all this stuff in the video below. I'm eating my own hair now so I'm going to put the links below and you can go check out all the stuff that I'm talking about in this video too. Next I've got a pair of shorts and I like to wear shorts on holiday. I usually get them pretty dirty on the beach though so I don't like to spend too much money on them. These are my white ones from Primark. I absolutely love Primark for things like shorts and t-shirts. I don't really think you can go wrong. These fit really well. The denim has lasted really well. I think I got these a couple of years ago and I love the kind of little flowery pattern on the inside. It's really really sweet. Then my bikini. I was so excited when I found this in New Look. It's the Kelly Brook range. This is kind of sailor themed with a really really sweet pink kind of bow and what I love about this is that it gives you so much support. So some bikinis I literally put them on and I don't really feel that they're very flattering on me. This is so flattering because it kind of gives you all the support that you need from underwear but it's obviously a bikini and New Look is really reasonably priced as well. Then my maxi dress. I always like to have a maxi dress on me on the beach when I go for lunch or something. I don't want to be sat in a bikini so I have to have a dress or something to wear especially in the evenings as well it's quite nice to take something to the beach if you're going out in the evening straight from the beach this is my maxi dress from next I bought this about a year ago I love the aqua green it's so so nice and also the back detailing is what caught my eye when I bought this really really nice as I said I bought this a while ago but next have some great stuff I've talked about it before on my channel and it is a little bit expensive next but the quality is so so good and their beach wear is quite reasonably priced and then I have my hairband. I picked this up from Forever 21. It's beautiful, it sparkles, 
what more could I say? You guys know that I will love it. And yeah, I got this when I was in America. I love to keep my hair off my face when I'm on the beach. I hate having sand and stuff and my hair just gets in the way. So I always keep a hairband on me. And then my sunglasses, the case is from Topshop. I picked that up a few years ago. Really important in my beach bag to protect my sunglasses because I just throw everything else in. And then these sunglasses are from New Look. They were literally like three pounds, so cheap. There is no point, oh my goodness, rain to have expensive sunglasses for me anyway because I just break them so I always keep cheap sunglasses and I love the design of these they've lasted really well so far I'll probably chuck them at the end of the season but for $3.99 you can't go wrong then moving on to beauty things that I keep in my beach bag I always carry dry shampoo this is actually Bastiste and I have lost the top to this for some reason but this is the super super big one you can buy this a lot smaller and I usually carry this in my beach bag because my hair just gets so horrible when I get out of the sea and if if I don't want to watch, wash it if I'm going for dinner I just spray a bit of dry shampoo in brush it out and then my hair kind of looks much nicer I also keep face wipes in my beach bag because I hate when I get out of the sea the kind of horrible sea like salty feel on my face and ugh, I just absolutely hate kind of sand and sea so I carry face wipes so I can just wipe that off these are Ole Henriksen truth to go wipes these are my favorite face wipes because I'm always quite careful with put, what I put on my skin they are quite expensive but they are very 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 good and especially when you're in the sun you want something that's quite sensitive these make literally they feel like you're just smashing loads of tangerines onto your face the smell is insane and they are really really good at removing kind of any grease and makeup as well so I carry those with me then my sun cream probably the most important thing in my beach bag I go for the Pisbuen every time it's my favorite and this is actually factor 15 I usually go for a 30 or a 50 because I'm so pale and I burn very very easily the 15 I use if I'm sat in the shade I still kind of put it on anyway it's a really moisturizing sun lotion it keeps me pretty for a long time this isn't the waterproof one so I reapply it quite a lot but I like it and it smells so good as well I think the smell is what everyone kind of recognizes about it I hate the smell of suntan lotion but this one is so so nice and then my face one I have a different suntan lotion for my face because I find that one way too greasy I find most suntan lotions way too greasy to just put on my face so for my face I use the Saint Tropez one this is SPF 50 and this is really nice because it smells nice it doesn't feel too greasy I get quite oily skin and this protects you so well because it's got the SPF 50 and for my face I have to have always the highest factor because I have a ridiculous amount of freckles which I love but they also come out in the sun and get really burnt and so I have to make sure that my face tan or my face tan my face sun lotion is kind of really specific to my skin and this one as well has a tan enhancer so when you put it on your face it's kind of enhancing your face tan as well and then my body lotion when I get back from the beach or sometimes when I'm on the beach in the evening and I feel like I'm a little bit burnt I love having a kind of after sun I don't really get on that well with after sun lotion so I always take a really really moisturizing moisturizer if that is a word and this is my favorite one this is the soap and glory it's pretty cheap and you get loads in the bottle this is the body butter daily smooth it has rose hip seed oil and cocoa butter so it smells kind of quite vanilla -y, quite sweet it's a very very soft body lotion it doesn't leave your skin very greasy which I like because obviously you've got loads of sand around it. you don't want to feel really sticky it's just really nice and it's very very soothing as well so I always take something like this away with me and then finally for my hair as you can see guys in the process of filming this video my hair has probably just got a little bit frizzy whenever there is any heat or water in the air my hair just goes wild it doesn't matter how much I've straightened it it just tends to go quite frizzy so I carry around with me bedhead after party now this is actually kind of like a smoothing cream so you're meant to use this when you've blow dried and straightened your hair just as a smoothing kind of cream to keep the style in place I take this away with me on holiday because it keeps my hair very non kind of static so it's keeping my hair really smooth it's stopping it from going really really static and it just kind of makes me look a little bit like I have normal hair hair rather than my hair because it literally gets so frizzy when I'm on the beach and this has really really helped me to keep my hair under control that and a hairband makes me feel a lot more comfortable about my hair on
on the beach because there's nothing you can really do it's going to look a mess anyway but you might as well do all you can to help and then finally my beach bag this is the one that I usually take with me if I'm going on a proper beach holiday I actually have this in pink as well and it's from Primark so it was so cheap it reminds me of the Kath Kidston design with all of the kind of flowers on it absolutely love that vintagey look this is waterproof as well which is great because on the beach your bag is going to get trashed so you need something that's kind of big to fit everything in your little towel as well and something that's going to be quite durable in terms of wear and I've just realized that wasn't the last thing I actually have a book because when I go on holiday I love to read and the one that I'm going to recommend to you guys is Katie Piper things get better this girl is amazing you have to read her book her first one is called beautiful and I would highly recommend that she has been through the most awful experience she had her acid thrown into her face and her story is all about how she recovered from that and how she has gone on to do the most incredible things you have to read this book guys it really makes you feel so good and it was just a really easy read as well when I was on holiday so I really hope you enjoyed that video I will link Katie's as well at the end of this as I said go check her out she's so lovely so fashionable and you guys are gonna love looking at all of her outfits and I've really enjoyed this I have got a little bit wet from sitting under this tree but I was so determined to film this outside for you so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I am just totally looking forward to my next summer holiday I don't know where I'm gonna go but I think I need to book one and I will see you guys in my next video bye shops already stuff ah! oh man this sucks <laughs> go away rain <laughs> oh I can hear you wind I know what's coming next ah! no! oh yes that will be nice some sunshine ah! oh my camera sorry camera you're gonna be so wet Man, I'm getting a wet ass. No! Oh, this is useless. I hate two English weather. <gasps>